I'm going off like a hunting clip. We never sleeping on my dogs, bagging all the chips. Never tripping, almost floating in these easy kicks. I see your girly is a fan, so we gon' take a. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Wisco, and I'm back again with another sneaker unboxing. This time it's a pair of Adidas. Now, I've been fucking with Adidas lately like crazy because they've been dropping a lot of exclusive, crazy collaborations and just dope material and just dope work, period. And um, these dropped during SneakerCon. I wasn't able to go to SneakerCon, obviously, because I'm overseas, but I wish I was over there because they dropped so much heat and so much fire. But these, I definitely had to get myself a pair. So, here's the box. And without further ado, let's do some surgery and cut into this and see what's inside. Alright guys, so as always, got the wrapper on top of it, the go app sticker on there, making sure that they wrapped it up and they checked it out. So that's the side. As you guys can see, if you don't know already, this is the box. Adidas on the logo, three stripes in the front. As you can see right there, it says EQT Support Ultra PK King Push. Of course, you know I had to jump on a pair of uh, King Push collabs with Adidas because I mean, that's just like automatically, you know it's gonna be fire. Yeah, uh, I seen these online. He first had the, uh, the King Push model of the EQTs, which was dope as fuck. I wanted those, but when these came out, something about these that brown color I just love it, especially for the fall time because I'm a fall baby and you have to have a pair of like wheat something either Tim's either Nike's Uptown's whatever but these right here I think will go so dope for so many outfits during uh, fall time so uh, yeah so uh, this is the box and yeah this is how the uh, sneaker comes in so it's a little different of course you got the gold sticker right here Jay certified those and yeah so the sneakers come in an actual paper bag so that's fucking dope like come on man. like that's just that's just different it's just so different but you know what I love the way they thinking over there on a uh, uh, over there in the DD shop right there cuz I mean that's dope that's different but in case you guys don't know the whole concept of these uh, these sneakers, these uh, these um, bodega babies is what they call the EQT bo uh, bodega babies. The whole point of it is, back in the day before Pusha T moved to I think Virginia or whatever, he was actually uh, living in uh, New York. So of course in New York we all know I'm from Brooklyn. You know bodegas are on every corner, on every block. So I mean basically that's just like part of our culture. But during those times you'll find like you know you'll find kids playing around in that area buying candy. Doing whatever, you will have the drug dealers posted up on the spot right there too, drinking on the phone or chilling next to the pay phones, whatever. That's just part of the lifestyle in New York, so it don't even make sense for him to, like, you know, kind of like show some love for the bodega spots, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, you got the brown paper bag. Also, in the brown paper bags, you'll find people drinking their 40s out of here, St. Eyes, OEs, whatever. I used to go to the store and buy my mom and her friends that shit when I was little, so I remember those days. So, you'll have that for your groceries, or you have your work in there. And if people don't know what work is, you know, King Push he was pushing weight back in the day, so that's what that would be used for. But the sneakers come in, a wrapper that's inspired by, I'm guessing it's a scale. They got that scale wrapper in. And we hit the shoes. Oh, man. So yeah guys, so these are the shoes. Man, these shits are dope. Like, that's clean. That is real clean. Alright, so these are my first pair of uh, EQTs. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling these. I'm definitely feeling these. These are, it's a real clean, clean look. It's not too much. There's a lot of detail in these shoes, but it's not too much. It's not overwhelming, you feel me? Um, let's see what we got here. So, alright guys, so first look what we got here so the whole material right here in the front and the sides pretty much is all prime knit uh, the prime knit uh, design is pretty subtle not too crazy uh, real clean it's like two tones so you got like gold more of a goldish look on the front and on the side is more of a brownish khaki color uh, they got this carp design like fish scale on the uh, the size and on the heel that's a pretty dope look that's pretty cool so it gives it that kind of like different kind of texture to it you will have the three stripes right here where it's actually it feels like a like like a plastic slash nylon type kind of material so that's pretty cool so it gives like a kind of like glossy effect to it 
You got rubber material right here where the uh, EQT uh, Ultra uh, symbol is at, right there in the front. Shoelaces are pretty dark in color, but you can switch them out with a lighter material right here. Let's see what else we got here. Of course, you got that full boost midsole, which is pretty dope. It's like white on white, so that's that's pretty clean. And on the bottom, you have that continental rubber and all white as well. Real dope. Remind me of the uh, the Ultra Boost right here. So that's pretty clean. Let's see what we got in the inside. Inside, all khaki colored with the red with the red logo inside. I think it's supposed to be resemble like Pyrex or some shit like that. But definitely a nice clean look. I like that as well. And it's actually materialized, so it's not just like a flat like painted on color. It's actually like a rubber in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, the upper portion of the prime mitt is like the NMDs, so that like, uh, what is it, um, that uh, NMD uh, sock liner material on the top, that's pretty much what that's, where, that, where we got that style from, but um, overall, definitely a dope looking shoe, looks real clean, and you got the uh, king right here, and then push right there for the, uh, the lace locks in the front. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention right here on the uh, the eyelids, I guess the lace eyelids, you got that material right there, it's like a hard plastic that goes right into the uh, the stripes and then into the prime knit, so it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I love the attention to detail, I love the look, I love the color, the color is real clean, like I said, it's definitely a fall color, it's like perfect for this time of the year. Real subtle, not too loud, a lot of definition, a lot of uh, detail. And yeah, I think I push it to you did his thing with Adidas on this one. Definitely a dope collab. Really feeling this shoe. Down to see how it fits on, uh, how it looks on foot, and how it fits. <coughs> I actually, um, excuse me. I got these in a size 11. My size is just, usually a 10 and a half, but my, with most Adidas shoes, like as far as the uh, the uh, the Yeezys or like the Blue Ultra Boost, or whatever, I always have to get like a size 11 or 11 and a half because for some reason, I guess they feel they fit real true to size and it's supposed to conform to your foot, like almost like a sock. So I, I recommend if you want to have a comfortable fit and still have a little room to play in, I say get like a, at least a size above your regular size but for these I'll get a like 11 and I think I'll be fine because I don't want them to be too big and look too much like clown shoes you feel me but um yeah definitely a good look I'm dying to try these out see how they feel if you like these please let me know below um if you cop these let me know what your experience was how much you paid for them because I definitely paid a lot less than what they retailing for I think in complex condies are going for 220 I didn't pay 220 I paid less than 180 so I'm definitely happy with that and um yeah I can't wait to pick them on uh, let me know what you think about this video if you like the video, press the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And as always, keep rocking your kicks. It's your boy Wisco. And I'll check you guys next video. Peace.